Hello, today I'm rubbing out the lacquer finish on this tabletop. I, I lacquered this tabletop two weeks ago. The finish is hard, the finish is cured. It's time now to uh, rub it out. The first step is 400 grit wet dry sandpaper. I will uh, wet sand it with just a Dawn dish soap mixture and water. Get a perfectly flat uniform scratch surface. From that surface, I will use Avalon pads. I will start with 500 grit, then go to 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and this will make the scratches finer and finer and finer until I have the finish I am looking for. Please hang around and watch how it's done. I've misplaced my squirt bottle. It's been 90 degrees the last couple days. I honestly think my kids stole it from me. So I just have soapy water in a glass. It's time to, time to smooth it out. After a minute or so of sanding, I dry off the surface. I have a camera light down low and I look over the surface and see if there's any shiny spots. I then re-sand, dry off the surface, do that again. I do this until I have a perfectly flat, just perfect tabletop. It's a real dull sheen to it right now, but it is very smooth. Now I'll use the Avalon pads and that'll bring up the sheen and make it nice and glossy. When using the Avalon pads, I use my pneumatic sander. I own this sander from doing auto body work. When you're working on the side and down below, you don't really want to be wet sanding with an electric sander. For a tabletop surface like this, when you're working above it, I don't mind using an electric sander. This is what I own, so this is what I'm going to use. If you had an electric random orbit, you could use that also. I've rubbed this out through 3000 grit. I'm going to do 4000 grit now. Right now, it's a very flat, uh, I'm going to call it satin sheen. I would stop here for a lot of projects if this was for me. I'm going to bring it up to a higher gloss because this isn't for this project is not for me, but the finish that it has right now I really do like and that's a 3000 grit Avalon. I'm going to do 4000 grit Avalon on here and then I'm going to use a polish after that and this is going to be a very nice high gloss finish when I'm done. Now the gloss of this finish here, that you can see the reflection of the box on, the reflection of my hand on here, this is just the 4000 grit Avalon. I have not polished this with a, a wax or a polish yet. I will polish it with a polish. I uh, think I'm going to wait for tomorrow for that, it's getting kind of late. But just this was just a quick showdown of how I uh, rub out a finish. Thank you for watching how I rub out a, a lacquer finish. I really like this process because it allows me to go from matte to satin, semi-gloss, gloss, all with using a high gloss finish. I find that the, the matte and the low gloss finishes have a milkier look to them. They don't, they're not as clear, they're not as translucent. I like the matte looks, I don't like the non-translucent finish. So I like to use a high gloss finish and then with the Avalon pads, I usually stop at three or four thousand. I don't polish them beyond that. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time.